welcome back to this webcast edition of One on One Sports. I am now joined by our NFL fantasy football experts, Nick Marcunis and Steve Normington. Okay, guys, week one is in the books. Let's play a little game of stock rising, stock falling. Nick, let's start with you. Who's your stock rising? Start with this week? Mr. MVP himself, Peyton Manning. Missed a year, came back, looked like he didn't miss a beat. 19 for 26, 253 yards, he two good. TDs. The best part against the top ranked defense from last year, the Pittsburgh Steelers. Pittsburgh Steelers, excuse me. He looked phenomenal, and the best part to me was his second touchdown where he audibled into a great pass, uh, took advantage of a misset defense, and he just, he looks like he's back. I think his stops soaring. There's no, no question that he was incredible of coming off that neck injury, but I'm gonna go with Joe Flacco. The guy comes out, all the criticism, he goes uh, 21 for 29, 229 passing yards, two touchdowns, and now Ravens yeah. fans are gonna be pumped because they're not gonna depend on Ray Rice anymore to carry the team. Big Joe's got it. Yeah, finally these teams have uh, quarterbacks that can pass with Tebow and Flacco, I guess, finally learning how mm -hmm. to do something right. So, uh, stock, we did that stock rising. Let's do stock falling. Steve, who you got? Okay, Chris Johnson, the back. 0.4 yards per carry. 0.4 yards. If you Pitiful. have him on your fantasy team, Pitiful. you might as well commit suicide because you can't, you can't do anything you gonna with, do that? with that. You're going to lose the week. Yards, it's, a shame. That's awful. it's a shame. He a thousand yard running awful. back the last, what, two years? Yeah. Just absolutely two thousand, What do you have? Two thousand, yards two four carries? Yeah. That's awful. He just, he's looking for the home run every time and he's not getting it. He's searching and he's just getting tackled for loss. It's not, it's not what you want out of your running back, certainly. It's starting to look like that first year was a little bit of a, a, like a miscue. A not fluke. Absolutely yeah. fluke. So I'm, got, I'm going with the Green Bay defense. They spent their first six round draft picks on defense. That was the focus of the offseason. That was their Achilles heel last year and their loss to the Giants. Spent all their picks on the, on the draft. Yeah, they all went all they seven. Had. So they were, that was the focus of the offseason. And then just to have a dismal effort against San Fran, they ran all over them. 188 rushing yards on the ground, 377 yards overall. They just looked like a defense that's going to be in the upper uh, 20s. San Fran, just like that, last year. Yeah. San Fran, that was a very good team. I mean, they, we, I could see them turning it around. But eventually. not much. Last year, you wouldn't really think of it as an offensive juggernaut. So. True, true, very true. All right, both good picks again. Uh, the Packers kind of already wore down. So I'll give Steve the nod on this one. Mm -hmm. But uh, all right, stock has stayed the same after week one. Nothing happened. Who you got? You may disagree with me on this one. I'm going with Kevin Ogletree. <coughs> I think Interesting. It's, I think it's a little too soon to annoy him the next Victor Cruz. He was playing against a patchwork Giants secondary. They third string cornerback uh, Co was starting, and then he got injured, so he was picking apart their fourth so string you're saying cornerback. He's staying the same when he scored two touchdowns and had a hundred yard game against a terrible secondary. Yes, um, once he sees yeah. an actual corner, a cover, excuse me, a cover corner that actually cover, he's not going to put up that production. Yet. Okay, well I'm going to go with two guys, Patriot tight ends. These guys are great, Hernandez, Gronkowski. Both scored touchdowns last week. I expect to see the same. They accounted for half of Brady's completions. This offense is unstoppable. Yep. I don't think anyone can stop them this year. I think they might even be stock rising with the addition of their running back. Ridley mm -hmm. getting play action. They're going to be lethal. How can you guard that? Yeah, Ridley so. with the 100-yard game was obviously an X factor that last weekend. I mean, there's one thing for sure. The Patriots are a scary team to face. It's going to be really tough to beat them Absolutely. this year. That will do it for this webcast edition of 101 Sports. Make sure to check out our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter. And remember, whose side are you on?